guys, this is Brick Brothers Productions, and today we're going to be doing our Q&A. This Q&A is for reaching 130 subscribers, which is just amazing. Thank you for all the support that you've been giving us so far. And um, now we'll go on to today's video. So the first question is from Remnant Crab, and he asks, who is your favorite Star Wars character? And I think I would have to go with Captain Rex because um, I just love the clones overall and he was um, one of my favorites and he was a big part in the Clone Wars and I just think he's awesome. Mine would probably have to be Chewbacca. He's just an amazing character. Um, um, to, for me, he um, is just a great character. He's all fluffy. So that's probably why he's like one of my favorite characters. So um, from David Productions, he asked, who inspired you to do YouTube? What's your favorite YouTube, not Lego YouTuber? Who's your favorite clone trooper, um, Clone Wars and the movies? And also, what Big Mock do you think um, that Michael will do next? Okay, so for the first question, which is who inspired you to do YouTube? I would say um, mainly Chris Productions and um, Solid Brick Studios. Yeah, because um, we we used to watch them and we just loved their big mocks. And it was Solid Brick Studios who really inspired me to do the big chic mock. So yeah, that's answering that question. And then the next question is, what's your favorite YouTuber not Lego? And so um, me and John, we both watch some Minecraft stuff besides Lego. And we would have to say our favorite um, YouTuber would be Preston Plays because we just like um, his parkour videos and everything. And then, who's your favorite clone trooper? Um, probably the Scout Trooper. Yeah, the 41st um, Elite Corps Scout Trooper. Those are really cool. We really like those. But um, I would I didn't want to say Captain Rex again, but he was probably my favorite overall. But second is definitely the Elite Corps Scout Trooper because we just love their armor. And then, um, also, what big mock do you think we'll be doing next? Um, well, I'm right now working on the uh, smaller mock, and soon, and hopefully about maybe in two weeks or so, this mock will maybe be done, And because I just need some more um, pieces to uh, do the terrain and everything, as I showed you in the weekly update. Yeah, so we're both working on some smaller mocks, but um, uh, we're thinking about the next big mock will be happening maybe next year sometime, um, around the beginning of the next year. Um, but we want to do a couple smaller mocks, but we were thinking Felucia or Geonosis, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but yeah, let's go on to the next question. So this next question is from Lego Fanat Animation. He said, what is your favorite Lego theme than Star Wars? Um, ooh. Oh, I would probably say Creator. It's a really cool, um, they've got lots of different sets, like houses, and they're pretty big sets and um, models. And I think that it's a great kind of building. Yeah, because thing. there's a lot of the bigger, like um, the, um, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like the big buildings. I just forgot what they're called. And um, they're really awesome. And we just kind of love the like vehicles and everything that they build. And the next question is, um, he also asked, what are you, are you going to make a giant Death Star mock? And um, probably not anytime soon, but we might in the future. So um, yeah, let's move on to the next question. So the next question is from Brick Dress Justice. And he asked, what Star Wars minifig do you want the most? I personally would probably say Kylo Ren. Um, surprisingly, we still don't have him, but soon we will possibly get him, hopefully, in a, in a set. Yeah, and I would have to go, well, if you're talking about, if we can do Clone Army Customs and stuff like that, I would probably go one of the figures there. But if we're just talking Lego, I would probably go with the Shadow Arf Trooper, which was a promotion um, for some like um, Lego thing. Um, it's just a Shadow Arf Trooper. It looks really cool, but it's quite expensive to get it now. But yeah, that's probably my pick. Anyways, let's go on to the next question. So the next question is from Lego Lots 284 and he asked if you could both have any Lego set, what would it be? And I think I would go with the, um, 2002 like UCS Super Star Destroyer, not Super Stars, just Star Destroyer because that thing is just awesome. It's huge and I just love it. It's like my favorite set of all time, but I don't have it. And so I would really like that, but it's really expensive now to get it. Um, but yeah, I think that would be my pick. 
mine will probably be the UCS Imperial Shuttle. That is just an amazing set. We we still don't have it, but I think it's I would just definitely just choose that if I have any set probably. And um, it's really detailed, so that's probably why I would choose it. So the next question is from the Lego Boy 910 Bricks, and he said, "What YouTuber YouTubers inspired you guys to do YouTube?" Who is your favorite YouTuber, non-Lego and Lego? What's your favorite Star Wars movie? And do you guys share your Legos or each do you, or each of us have separate Legos? Um, well, two of your questions um, we already answered in the in earlier in the video, but um, the next one was, who is your favorite YouTuber um, that's Lego? So, I would have to go with maybe um, probably either Solid Brick Studios because like, we just I just love the huge box he makes, or um, maybe I like Lego Spencer because he makes really cool and detailed, but they're not so big, but they're really they're kind of smaller mocks. So I really like his channel as well. I would probably have to go with Chris Productions. He's a really cool um, Lego builder, and I just think I like watching him so. I feel like he would be mine. But the next question was, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Mine would just have to be the seventh movie. That was just um, The Force Awakens. That was just an amazing movie. And um, I can't wait for ep um, the mo eighth movie. And mine would probably be episode six um, because it's just one of my favorite movies of because uh, I love the original movies. And um, that's just my favorite with like Darth Vader and Luke fighting and then walks wrecking the stormtroopers um so yeah on to the next question well we're not going on to the next question because we forgot one more question and that was do you guys share your legos or do we each have separate legos we probably we just share our legos um uh, michael probably um has more than me like because we share in michael's room but yeah yeah, because I started getting to Lego before him, so I was collecting all the bricks and had them in my, all my room. So yeah, we just share all the bricks that are in my room. So the next question is from Jawa Bricks, and he asks, what's your favorite minifig? And I'm going to go with the um, just original Phase 3, just Clone Trooper here. And he only came in one set, which was $10. Um, but I have three of him, and I just love this minifig. I just love the design of him. He just looks so cool. And so, yeah. Mine would probably have to be the UCS Boba Fett. It's got so much detail on it. And um, this is a UCS, so it's not just um, the regular Boba Fett. So that's just what makes it so much more yeah, special. It has arm printing on both the arms, which is exclusive for right now. And so, yeah. So the next question from JM's Brick Productions, he said, what is your favorite Lego theme in Star Wars or Marvel? I think we're definitely gonna have to go with Marvel because we just think it's a better theme overall. Even though we don't have any of the sets, I think we're definitely gonna be getting more of them. So you should be looking forward to some more Marvel stuff. And so yeah, but let's go on to the next question. So the next question is from Tactical Film Studios, and he asks, do you have any rare Lego minifigures? Well, I don't know what you classify as rare. Um, you mean like, um, they're really like really expensive to get them now, or you only got, you can only get them on May the 4th, but you can get them now for like 10 or $20. So I'm just gonna show you these ones that are somewhat rare, they don't come in a set, or some of them um, are exclusive to one set, and they go for a lot of money now. So here we go, so um, some of these you might not classify as rare, but um, some are more rare than others, but we're just going to show you all of our somewhat rare. And this is the May the 4th promotion for this year, which is the first order of the Stormtrooper. This is the um, UCS Boba Fett. We have the Chrome Stormtrooper, this is probably my rarest one. Um, and next we have this Han Solo in a um, coat. For the May the 4th promotion, that's the only Han Solo that looks like that. And then we have Admiral Yularen for a May the 4th promotion for 2014 or 15. And so, yeah. And then this guy isn't too rare, but we have the Lego Storm employee who only can play back. Um, so, yeah. 
So, uh, I think my only, like, real rare one would probably be this Chrome Stormtrooper. Um, yeah, those are all of my exclusive minifigs that you get in a polybag or something, or they're rare, or than other minifigs. Tactical Films also asks, what is the most expensive Lego you own? And I think, um, we would have to go with ooh, the is. sand crawler, the UCS sand crawler. That thing is, um, I think $300, and that is our most expensive set. So, yeah. Anyways, on to, I think, the final question. So, the next question is from Amy Kirk. She asked, how much dollars did it take to build Kashyyyk Mock, not including the sets? Okay, so, um, I don't really know exact the exact number because... I didn't like calculate everything but I would have to go with eight eight nine hundred plus dollars um, because I'm not sure not too sure because some of the pieces I already owned and then I bought a lot so I'd have to go maybe like eight hundred nine hundred plus probably nine hundred plus um, so yeah that's the best I could answer your question and there's actually another question which isn't showing off off the phone that we're looking off um, the month but someone asked, uh, maybe in another video, it was JM's Bricks Productions, and he asked, um, what, um, editing software do we use for thumbnails, and we use Fonto, which is an app, and what you can pretty much do is just pick a picture from your camera roll, and then you can just, um, write your, uh, whatever text or something on there, um, you can put, like, stickers or whatever, um, so yeah, I don't know if it's available on like Android devices. I'm not too sure on that, um, or like Samsung or anything like that. So um, yeah, that. So Fonto, it's an app, but I'm not sure if it's available anywhere else but the App Store. So we just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for 130 subscribers. I know we were supposed to do like 400 subscribers a room tour, but that we never got around to doing that, so we might be doing that for 200 subscribers. But we decided to um, do a Q&A for 130 just to make up for that, guys. And um, we just hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. And we hope you got, we answered all of your questions. Thank you for commenting um, them. And so if we didn't answer them, we'll be sure to answer them in the next weekly update or something like that. Um, but yeah, guys, um, thank you guys so much for the support. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.